Hello, folks, and happy Sabbath to all of you out there, and happy Sabbath to my colleagues here on the set with me. Uh, I'm Ganem Hanna, along with co-host Sheila Hodgkins. Uh, to her left is Pastor Keith Morris, and last, of course, and never least, Pastor John Anderson. Two great senior pastors from two local churches. We'll have them tell us about their churches later on into the program. Uh, as usual, we, lo- we don't like to go any further uh, be- unless we start with the verse of the day. And I think Pastor Morris had that for us. Yes, today's verse is Psalm 37 and verse 5. And I'm reading, it says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. Mm. What does that tell you, Pastor? Well, it tells us that uh, the Lord is able to bring success, beauty from ashes. Mm. And if we will commit our way to him, which means we surrender our will to him and ask him to be the Lord of our life, and he will guide us and see us safely through. Mm. Pastor Morris, what's your take on this? Well, I have three C's, commitment, confidence, control. If we commit our way unto God and have confidence in him, He will take control of our lives. Amen. Sheila, you can have the last word. (laughs) Well, I I, I really love that verse. And I think just honestly, just trusting God, just like he said, committing yourself to him. You could could just trust him. He he will bring everything good about because he's such a loving God. Amen. And he's a God who does deliver. Uh, You can count on him Mm -hmm. in all our needs and all our times of... uh, dealing with battles or crises, he is the only one to trust into. I, I just told my daughter this morning, sweetheart, you can't put your faith in man or women or anyone who of flesh and blood. Respect them, love them, but our ultimate trust is in the creator in heaven because he's the ultimate power, the ultimate creator who can change all events according to his desire. And uh, therefore, you'll never go wrong in trusting in the Lord. Well, thank you so much for sharing this verse uh, with our family of viewers. Uh, There's so much going on here at LLBN this week. Uh, Actually, we just finished uh, uh, taping earlier today, Christian Connections. It was live, and we're taping this right after Christian Connections. Uh, So we had an opportunity with two great speakers who were present with us uh, today, Pastor John Anderson. Briefly, uh, you can take the opportunity to invite people to Visit your church. Thank you. Yes, uh, I'm blessed to be at the Mentone Seventh Adventist Church in the small uh, community of Mentone, and we would invite people to come and visit us. Uh, we're a loving church. We're not the largest in town, uh, but uh, people love the Lord, and, and we want to see His work go forward. Amen. Pastor Morris, would you like to invite folks to your church? Uh, certainly. The Riverside, Kansas Avenue Church is where I'm privileged to, to serve. And uh, we also are a very loving church. We are on the other side of town. But we, um, we invite you, if you're in the area, just to come join with us for, for worship. We have a good time in the Lord, and uh, we thank him for the privilege of ministry. Well, and, 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 and we trust you on the loving words because uh, your church are so loving that they're sharing you with us hmm. to bless our viewers in the ministry of LLVN. And as, and as for Sheila and I, we invite you, if you look, work in the local community or live in a local community, to become a volunteer here at LLVN. There's such a beauty and purity in volunteering in God's work, whether a church or a ministry like LLVN. Uh, this week earlier, I had the privilege to walk into the new construction site, and one of our greatest volunteers, uh, she, uh, uh, Evie Roach, who I've known her for many, many years, a great servant of God, uh, and she is a great donor also for the ministry. She was with a spray bottle and a rug cleaning up the windows and the doors of the new building. That's how much she loved this ministry, that she serves it at all fronts. And I'm telling you, if you join us, you will have that loving feeling to serve and to interact with the wonderful and precious workers and volunteers of LLVN. So just give us a call at the number you see on the screen and just ask for an application or go to the website 
and uh, send us uh, your application online. I'd love to have you become member, mem a member of this wonderful family that we call the LLBN family. Well, uh, quick building update. Uh, who walked through the building today? Uh, any you know, of you? Yes, I have. Okay. And um, when you first walk in the building, you smell the brand new carpet that's there. A beautiful state of the art. And we have the donor walls filled with the beautiful TV sets that mm -hmm. have the donors there and, and nice music. And you just totally feel the spirit of God. Amen. And um, we feel all the love and support and the prayers that have built this building up for it, Jesus, really. It, it, it is. It's a great, great place to honor our creator. It's a great place where we can honor him, not just in the local community, but worldwide and in every community that welcomes the word of Jesus. What a great prize for, for God to build this worship house, a virtual place of worship to reach out to millions upon millions around the world. Well, uh, we're probably in a matter of a month and a half, two months, we'll have a special live coverage of the new facility as we tour it. Uh, you folks are gonna have to help me and walk with me and ask questions and point things out. So we'll, give you we'll keep you tuned about the day and the hour of that broadcast. Uh, we'll know more about it in the next couple of weeks. Sheila, do you have something for us on trust and gifts? I do. Um, so many of you um, want to turn your generosity into a lifetime income with a charitable gift annuity. For viewers who are looking for ways to help LLBN with its mission of sharing the gospel, you shouldn't feel like you are choosing between your philanthropic goals and financial security, but one gift that allows you to support work at LLBN while receiving fixed payments for life is a charitable gift annuity. Number one, not only does this gift provide you with a regular payments for life or lives if funded jointly, but it also allows LLBN to further the work of spreading the gospel. Number two, when you create a charitable gift annuity with LLBN, you can receive a variety of tax benefits, including a federal income tax, charitable deduction when you itemize. We want to send you a free brochure or complete illustration of how the gift annuity works. So for more information on this, other LBN planned giving services, you can call Jay Hughes at 909-651-5543 or write to LLBN planned giving services. And it's going to be right on the bottom of the screen. That's right. So. And if I may add, any time during any hour of our broadcast, weekends or weekdays, the toll-free number also, you can reach that toll-free number to call and ask for Jay Hughes to speak with, which also you can use the same line to request a prayer partner to pray with you as well. That prayer line is open 12 hours a day starting 5 a.m. Pacific time uh, till closing time. So take advantage of that number to have a prayer with someone. And thank you, Sheila, for sharing this uh, uh, message with us as well. Uh, Pastor Anderson, uh, we have a couple winner winners who are part of our sponsors. Uh, we have sponsors all throughout the week. Every hour their names appears on the lower part of the screen. But for the next few hours live broadcast, who do we have? Well, the name? four names that we have, and as you say, these are only representative of all those that are contributing and making the telecast go. But we have the Moore family from Washington. We have the Andrus family from California. The Murdoch family from California, and also the Seeley family from California. Mm. So we want to thank them especially, but just keep in mind there are many, many others standing behind these also that are contributing and making it possible. Well, that's wonderful, and God bless them, and bless you folks for helping this ministry that without you, it could have not coexisted. As a matter of fact, uh, I think Pastor Morris can share that message with us best because his first time he arrived here, uh, tell us what you thought. <laughs> well, when I, when I arrived here, uh, it was sometime last year, I, I quickly discovered that LLBN was a standalone ministry per se. It was not affiliated with all the um, major institutions that I felt that it was uh, associated with. And that was a major surprise to me because I, I, I really thought that um, it was affiliated with the university and a part of it. 
But um, I think one of the things that drove my personal interest is the fact that um, here is a ministry uh, that is independent of the um, establishment per se um, that I could be a part of. I could come and I could serve, volunteer, and um, be of service. Last week, I didn't have the opportunity like Sheila today to go through the um, building, but last week I, I came, I walked through, posted uh, some uh, videos on my Facebook, and several of my friends were saying the same thing. They did not know that uh, LLBN was a standalone ministry, and I think um, getting that word out to individuals, uh, those of you who are watching, you should know that uh, when you support LLBN, you are, you are doing so to an entity that is seeking to do God's work and uh, volunteers are needed, funds are needed to carry on the work. Thank you. Thank you for sharing uh, that information with us. And of course, thank you folks for your generosity to support this ministry. And for those of you who may have not done so, we invite you to join us to continue this beautiful movement of sharing the good news of Jesus Christ into the world. Uh, Sheila, uh, how about we go to your letters? Uh, can we cover one or two letters? Yes, Betty from Placerville, California writes, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the LLBN staff and volunteers who help make the wonderful programs you air. God bless you all. And Ronald from Laurel Bay, South Carolina writes, I've enclosed a check to help fund the new building project. I enjoy seeing the pictures as the building nears completion. Well, it's because of you viewers, because of you, Betty and Ronald, because of your prayers and your wonderful support, is that's why this has come to fruition. Thank you so much. And we'd love to pray for you. Could Pastor John pray yes, for them? Yes, let's pray. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the privilege of being a part of your work and advancing your kingdom. We want to thank you for those like Betty and Ronald that uh, under the conviction of the Holy Spirit feel prompted to give and support the work. And we pray that, that your blessing will rest upon all others that are sacrificially giving to see that the message of Jesus' love goes around the world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 And, and I thank you, dear friends, for being with us here today. And thank you as well for joining us at this hour and throughout the day and throughout the week perhaps. May God bless you. We ask you to keep us in your prayers. And you may just be a step away from becoming a volunteer or a supporter here at LBN by either calling or stepping in at our front porch, knock on the door, and meet our staff. May God bless you and bless your Sabbath day. Hope to see you next week here on Week in Review.